In the annals of aviation history, few aircraft evoke more intrigue than the Dornier Du 335, famously known as the Fail or Arrow. Emerging during the final throes of World War II, this unique German fighter represented a remarkable leap in aeronautical engineering, embodying innovation, ambition, and a glimpse into the future of aircraft design. The brainchild of the German aircraft manufacturer Dornier, the Du-335 stood out with its distinctive push-pull configuration, sporting two engines, one mounted in the nose and another at the rear of the fuselage. This innovative design provided unprecedented speed and performance, allowing the file to claim the title of the fastest piston-engined aircraft of its time, capable of reaching speeds up to 474 miles per hour. While traditional designs employed wing-mounted engines, the Du-335's layout reduced drag and enabled remarkable agility and power, giving it an edge in both acceleration and climb rate. As the war intensified, the Luftwaffe sought aircraft that could outperform the Allied fleet. The Du-335 was envisioned as a multi-role aircraft, capable of fulfilling various missions, including roles as a heavy fighter, bomber, and reconnaissance plane. Its versatility was complemented by its impressive armament, equipped with 220 MMMG, 151 cannons in the wings, and a 30 MMMK, 103 cannon firing through the propeller hub, a formidable arsenal that could challenge enemy aircraft and ground targets alike. The file's advanced design, however, carried the weight of its complexity. The dual engine arrangement required intricate engineering and maintenance, a significant challenge amidst the resource-strapped conditions of a war-torn Germany. Additionally, its production was hampered by Allied bombings and material shortages, resulting in only a limited number of Du-335S being completed before the war's end. Despite these obstacles, the aircraft's capabilities did not go unnoticed. The Allies, recognizing the file's potential, swiftly seized existing prototypes and production models. The United States, in particular, transported several to its facilities for testing and evaluation. The insights gleaned from the Du-335 contributed to post-war aviation advancements, informing the design of future military and civilian aircraft. Today, only a single Du-335 survives, preserved within the hallowed halls of the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. It stands not only as a testament to the ingenuity and desperation of its creators, but also as a reminder of the tumultuous era in which it was conceived. Through its remarkable design and performance, the Du-335 file earned its place in history, capturing the enduring fascination of aviation enthusiasts and historians alike. The story of the Dornier, Du-335 file, is one of ambition, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of advancement amidst adversity. While its operational use was limited, its legacy endures, making it a symbol of human ingenuity and the ceaseless quest to push the boundaries of what is possible. As we reflect on the file's unique journey, we are reminded of the lessons learned and the inspirations drawn from this extraordinary chapter in aviation history.